Today is, according to my diary, today is July the 31st, 2016. Yeah, that's where I'm at in my timeline. I always see my life in a historical narrative. I was born Oakland, California, 1952. August the 14th, 1952, Oakland, California. Uh, and now, today is July the 31st, 2016, and I will be 64 years old in 14 days. And I have reached the years of being 64. I was born, went through my... I went through adolescence, I went through my teenage years, went through my 20s, my 30s, my 40s, and my 50s, and now I'm going through my 60s. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. You just, you're carried along by the flow, divine providence, the plan of God, uh, the history of redemption, the... Uh, The plan of God's being accomplished, and I'm just growing old. So um, I have to put my diary away, since tomorrow will be August 2016, and I have to put my diary away for this month, July. And I wanted to read what I wrote before I put it down in the basement. I wanted to read what I wrote about this book, The Wall Creeper, by Neil Zink. As I mentioned, uh, you put these books side by side, Neil Zink and The Wall, Wall Creeper, and you put Mickelson's Ghost by John Gardner. John Gardner is a great American writer, and this book doesn't match at all. So anyway, this is what I wrote about. I wrote this on July the 19th, 2016. And I wrote it in diary form. And I'm just going to read it just because I... Why waste it? I'm thinking to, of doing a booktube video review of the novel The Wall Creeper by Neil Zink. So what is the novel The Wall Creeper about? The novel is 168 pages long. Right now, I when I wrote this, I was on page 89, and I closed on page 111. And I know what's, I read the ending, I know what's gonna happen, I know what happened. Because it's, it's nothing. Anyway, so uh, when I first started reading the novel, I thought it would be a funny love story between a fellow named Stephen and a woman named Tiffany. They were in Berlin, Switzerland. Stephen works, worked or works for a pharmaceutical company and he meets Tiffany at a pharmaceutical, at this company. They live, they make a long, to make a long story short, Tiff and Stephanie, Tiff and Stephen meet. They have sex and then immediately, six weeks later, they get married without really knowing each other. So basically, Stephen and Teth, Tiffany, or Tiff, are strangers when they get married. So I think the novel is how they come to know each other and if they will want to stay married after going through each of them having affairs with other people. And that's what the novel is really about. Uh, it's about first... Tiffany has an affair with this guy who works at a, uh, a 7-Eleven store, some gas station, and he's he's some guy who has fled from the Middle East, and his name is Elvis. And she has this affair with him, and S Stephen finds out, and he doesn't really seem to care. He, uh, But anyway, so the novel goes on. Uh, you could say that Tiff and Stephen hold to the view of an open marriage because right after uh, Tiffany has this uh, affair 
then Stephen has an affair with some kind of uh, environmental activist. So they're each having sexual relationships outside of marriage, and yet they still stay married, which I find kind of strange in the novel. Is it really a novel? It's just a slim thing here. In the novel, it is Tiff that has the sex relationship with the fellow named Elvis. Now, the reason why, I, when I first got the novel, The Wall Creeper, I thought it was about birding, because you, when you read, first beginning to read the novel, it's about Stephen's really into birding. But after you get through the novel, it kind of changes. And Stephen has this relationship with this environmental activist. They break up. He goes through, basically, he's heartbroken. And he just loses interest in birding and anything and basically he winds up just leaving his life, his marriage, his job, everything, and he winds up working in a Berlin as a DJ as a, in a techno club in Berlin. And what happens with Tiffany, she has multiple relationships, sexual relationships, and finally she leaves all of them and she goes to the apartment where Stephen and her live and she takes everything he has and she sells everything and she just walks out the door and that's the end of the novel. So that's how it ends. Yeah, it just says here, um, says here, Uh, it says here, anyway, that's what happens. So it was really sucked. The novel didn't really, I just found it kind of like just a bunch of hipster humor, environmental politics. Uh, it was just just plain snot, sloppy, and I didn't really I didn't really like it at all. So that's uh that's what I wanted to say. And so don't read The Wall Creeper by Neil Zink. I still have her newest novel down there called Mislaid. I don't know. I might give that a chance, but I'm not sure. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. So and. This video I'll post and tomorrow is August 1st, 2016 and new week and I don't know, well today all I read today is I read Gregory the Great, The Moral Reflections in the Book of Job, Volume 1 and I also I read a lot of this book, Orthodox Spirituality a Practical Guide for the Faithful and De Definitive Manual for the Scholar by Demetrio Standoff. So I read that today and most of the afternoon I read Mickelson's Ghost by John Gardner. And I wrote my diary and I, you know, I watched the birds and I wrote, you know, the day just went by and Tonight I'm off the kitchen floors and so existence keeps going by. So that's what I wanted to say and till next time, bye.